considering the set of bad spirit, um, one has to resist, I think, any temptation to preempt the story. It, it, it's always difficult in uh, designing scenery not to tell the end of the story uh, before you've reached that in the play. So it would be very much a mistake, I think, to make the place ghostly or full of mystery. Uh, because that is to tell us what is going to happen in the play the moment the audience see the set. So I've tried to create something which is absolutely normal. Well, normal for uh, a rather well-to-do middle class, rather su uh, moderately successful uh, author in the 1930s in the south of England. So it's a set which is comfortable and homely, uh, a tiny bit glamorous, uh, and rather artsy. Lots of books, lots of pictures, lots of uh, floral arrangements, and a kind of uh, uh, a use of uh, someone like Rex Whistler, the famous mural artist from the 1930s, who did uh, lands rather exotic landscape paintings uh, in the style of old masters. But in the 1930s, these were in modern houses uh, quite often. Um, and I try to incorporate that artistic feeling into an ordinary, uh, very comfortable middle class house. And then, when the absolutely absurd thing happens of uh, someone uh, turning up uh, from the past, we don't anticipate it, we don't uh, preempt the story. 